these constant setbacks bring this side closer together. Indeed they will. Thank you very much, Andrew Saville. Now to an all-black playing to make up for his misbehaviour. Winger Corey Jane confessing he hopes he's gone some way to redeeming himself with his performance against Argentina three nights after a heavy drinking session. This from World Cup reporter Jack Tame. Still going, Corey Jane. Jane's away. He didn't look hungover. Corey Jane was a standout in the All Blacks' win last night. He played 80 solid minutes, made metres, made tackles, and maybe made amends. We had a couple of days. Um, you know, I made a stupid choice the other, the other night, and uh, it was important for me to go out there and play well, and, and, and hopefully, you know, not let what, what I did affect the team too much. The stupid choice was a drinking session. Staff at this North Shore bar confirmed Corey Jane was there with teammate Israel Dagg on Thursday night. Witnesses say they were worse for wear. I made a poor decision. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, jump into the details. Uh, I just made a, a stupid uh, decision, um, put pressure on my team. When pressed on the incident, coach Graham Henry wasn't too chappy. Oh, I dealt with that and I've moved on. But you have to ask, in a team where just tweeting during the tournament has been banned, should players really need reminding that drinking heavily during the knockout stages of the World Cup isn't appropriate? If we're realistic about uh, putting everything that you can into uh, to this thing, it's making good decisions. And uh, we probably had an had, had a incident that was not a very good decision. Henry says Corey Jane's performance was one of his best. He probably didn't make a good decision during the week. He definitely didn't make a good decision during the week. And he wanted to write that. I thought he was outstanding out there. Corey Jane says he wants to remain outstanding. But for the right reasons, Jack Tame won news. Well, Robbie D.